we're on. Hi everyone. We're gonna talk about periods again. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for Amrita to join us. Till then, bear with me. You can keep staring at the screen. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. How are you doing today? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How's your day coming along? Uh, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. That's okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes I can. Okay, so tell me, how's your day coming along? Oh, uh, great. <laughs> Just okay. started. Yeah. So tell me, what do you do? Tell me, t tell me a little bit about yourself, since I don't know you at all. <laughs> so tell me about yourself. Yes, we don't know each other at all, uh, but we connect in a way. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, well, as of now, I'm not doing anything. Uh, I mm -hmm. was working with the company as an assistant manager, but I quit because I wanted to work uh, during pandemic. I wanted to go out, get there, and do some work. Mm -hmm. As of now, we're not doing anything. So. Everything is better here, so it's pretty cool now. That's and nice. That's cool. nice. What What did you study in college? What was your speciality? I did my uh, graduation in history. Oh wow! You know, history has actually been one of my favorite subjects ever. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Completely. Nice. How how, how was history? What 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 made you? Wait? We'll talk about periods in a bit. But yeah. tell me, how did you join history? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, cut it short. I actually started my college in pretty uh, on a different grounds. Uh, I wanted to go to college, and I did not wanted my parents to have that burden on them that they have to finance. So I started working actually uh, mm -hmm. after the twelfth. Before twelfth, actually, but officially after my twelfth, I started working, and uh, simultaneously I was also studying. I couldn't figure out what to do. Wow! Uh, so I jumped on history because uh, that was something I was doing better in my school. So mm -hmm. I thought of going that direction, and mm -hmm. it pretty helped me. <laughs> That's it was nice. Great because I could manage both things at a time. I did not have to do calculations well in Mumbai. Traveling in trains can be difficult. Yeah. So studying, reading was uh, easier than doing calculations and other things. So yeah, I did not go for other subjects wherein I had to do you know writing and uh, calculations and preparing graphs and charts. <laughs> yeah, so I understand. I, because I just have to read it as a story. Yeah. And I love to read stories, so that mm -hmm. helped me pretty. Completing my graduation. I think like a few people you know, just have a knack for it. They just like by default good at history. You know, like few people are, like just have a knack for math. There are a couple of people who just have a knack for history. It's just like it's right. a story, so it's so easy for them. I think I was one of them, but I never pursued history. That's a different story altogether. Tell me about your initial experience with period. How was it when uh, you first started bleeding? Oh uh, well. Don't remember exactly because it's been a long time since mm -hmm. I studied, and then I did not uh, go beyond with it, and I pretty much forgot. Syllabus has also changed. Even if I want to go back, I have to read old things because mm -hmm. now everything has changed with the mm -hmm. subject as well. We had ancient history, medieval history, contemporary. Everything was there. Basically, I did entire six papers in history. So mm -hmm. I had ancient, uh, medieval, modern. uh so current affairs everything was involved wow uh, right from maratha history to mughal every everything i have studied but now i have forgot everything it's okay i, it's, i think it. you know like like i said like how a few people just have a knack for it if you just like read through the story again it will be as fresh as new as fresh as <laughs> yeah completely so tell me how's your um, experience been with menstruation you know like when you earlier first started menstruating what was your initial like experience with it 
uh considering as a taboo going back then i mm. wasn't aware to be frank uh, what is it all about mm. but uh my mother being very supportive uh, when she got to know that i am encountering such a thing she took me aside and she explained me about it but mm. still uh, it wasn't as clear as i wanted and mm. uh, it wasn't clear for me to understand what's going on Mm-hmm. Uh, i was a quiet child in school uh, so i did not have many friends mm. to talk to to understand but over a period of time uh, i got to know a lot of things yet uh, considering my family always being into nature friendly uh, we still had that burden of you know uh, using sanitary napkins and disposing them uh, but no other option mm-hmm. no other knowledge Mm-hmm. uh i still used to uh, you know use uh, cloth pads but mm-hmm. considering that i started working it wasn't that comfortable so i switched mm-hmm. to sanitary napkins no other option available as i said mm-hmm. no one to guide me to mm-hmm. tell about more things available yeah. in the market mm-hmm. so i pretty much carried on with it uh it was all good for me uh considering mind over body it never impacted me much with pain mm-hmm. and uh, changing napkins or throwing it away yes it was a problem but it never impacted me as much i've seen other girls being impacted by it mm-hmm. uh but when i met these girls um in darjeeling uh, mm-hmm. everything pretty much changed <laughs> crazy <laughs> I, yeah, it is how how was like how how did you how did you make that switch like when did you realize that it's high time that i need the switch the moment uh, momo and shweta told me about it i was excited to make the switch i had to wait for a month uh, to get the cup but the moment i get it i got it uh, i never had second thoughts no fear at all mm-hmm. how am i going to do it is it good is it going to impact me i had no questions at all mm-hmm. because i was waiting for something it was something that i was waiting for and actually it came to me <laughs> so i was scared at all i've seen people being scared but i wasn't scared at all and i think it was first attempt i could not go through but second it was done i i had no problem at all and i i definitely had questions mm-hmm. uh, but no problem at all trust me i had no fear at all or uh, second thoughts of uh, should i go for it or should i not Hmm. uh moment they told me about menstrual cups said this is it i'm going to do it yeah. but i had to wait for it to be delivered it to me um uh, and the moment i received it i was waiting for my period <laughs> <laughs> everything changed yeah same it, same the first time like i found out about it and i was like really excited to start using it so i was like crazy youtubing and you know googling everything i was like I was skeptical about inserting something inside because I was like how does it matter like it's always mind over matter anyway so I had to wait for like I think 2 to 3 weeks before my cup arrived and once it arrived I was like when do I get my period right. <laughs> when is it going to happen <laughs> I want to try it soon right we've been on the same page pretty much uh, moment uh, these girl girls uh, ran through ran me through the uh, entire concept Mm-hmm. I was excited and I was waiting for it and then waiting for my periods to start <laughs> so that I can use it and how was your first experience with the cup uh I had questions there were concerns uh because it was the first time I was using it uh mm-hmm. you do not know the anatomy you do not know what's going inside you know it uh, you're going to get your periods on this date and it's going to end on this date mm-hmm. but uh, you may not know uh, how what's going on inside your body mm. so for the first time i used the cup but uh, it was uh, leaking okay pretty much every month mm. so that was one question i changed the brand i changed the size but it wasn't helping so i believe now that after giving sessions on the same thing i'm talking about it to many girls and mm-hmm. women about the same thing mm-hmm. i realize that i'm probably not answering my own questions but answering their questions and mm-hmm. that's when i realize that i'm doing something wrong 
and that is why i am having this problem otherwise mm-hmm. nothing at all there is no pain uh, there was no uh, irritation there was no other problem that i was facing the only thing was it was leaking mm-hmm. but i figured it out and i wanted to uh, cover this up during this session mm-hmm. there are only two problems uh, that can cause leaking only two situations one either uh, we fear that it is going to fall out and we push it a little too much in mm-hmm. or uh, we fear that it will go inside and never come out we mm-hmm. keep it out mm-hmm. and uh, those are the two situations mm-hmm. either we push it a little in fearing it may irritate us or hurt us mm-hmm. or fall out mm-hmm. and because of which it leaks because we push a little too much in and then yeah. it gives an opening uh mm-hmm. which causes leakage so we have to figure that out of where to place it appropriately so mm-hmm. that it doesn't leak do not mm-hmm. keep it out too much or do not push it a little too much in and that causes the leakage and that i figured out in somewhere around after 6 or 7 months oh damn <laughs> oh damn <Yeah. laughs> but it's okay hota hai like i've yeah. seen a lot of people also when uh, <clears throat> they using cups they don't realize that the vacuum needs to be created so they don't right. like check if you know niche say you can like just wiggle your finger around and check if the if if your cups completely open or not because if there's even like a slight dent there will be some leakage like right. always always correct that's uh, that's another thing <laughs> yeah but probably the fear uh, of uh, you know how can we touch our own self uh, probably that's one thing but uh, i guess we need to start exploring our own self like yeah like it's, it's such a big taboo you know like yes. touching yourself what it's you need to know yourself and to know yourself it's not all, always only you know philosophical or spiritual it's like bro like know yourself quite literally know yourself touch you have to touch you have to like get in touch with yourself quite literally to understand and um, i don't know i love menstrual cups i'm actually waiting for my periods <laughs> i'm just like let's let's get this over with i just happily finished them uh, so no problem i'm telling you uh, it's just that you have to spend a little more time with your cups uh, with yourself identifying mm-hmm. what's going on it might be leaking just go there check what's the problem there's no harm mm-hmm. uh, you may have to use uh, another thing uh, initially uh, uh i had to use i still had to use sanitary napkins uh, because of the leakage but and then figure out why I still use it because i can switch to cloths because mm-hmm. there's no much leakage so i switched to cloth pads as well so simultaneously i was using both mm-hmm. and it wasn't creating any problem as such uh cleaning is also not that difficult it's easy mm-hmm. so i kept on using both for like 6 7 months till i figured out what's the issue um well after that uh, i could actually answer those questions uh, which i had for a long time even after changing brands did not help so mm. <laughs> this little uh, understanding of yourself and uh, little research and exploring yourself helped me probably i would suggest everyone does that and if they have questions they have to come out openly and ask yeah yeah that is very important i feel like you can't solve everything yourself sometimes you need a little bit of guidance and this is like kafi you know a lot of girls currently <clears throat> a lot of women who are like newly switching to these cups they need to ask mm-hmm. if you know if you're not right. like baat kar lo yaar like what is there right? like kya kya ho jayega kya hi ho jayega <laughs> you just have right. to ask and um, i feel like most women who use menstrual cups are like so at least the ones that i've met they're so like or even me for that matter like when i meet people especially women i'm always like do you use menstrual cups you know you should switch to menstrual cups they're so good like i'm constantly like advocating for menstrual cups because why do you not want to make that little change a lot of women are also really <clears throat> scared but again i think it comes down to the taboo of not knowing yourself Correct. you know being being too conscious being too uptight like no right, right. so same thing is what i do i do ask questions are you using it you should use it because uh it's a life changing event trust me uh 3 years now 
almost three years now. Um, hmm. I'm I'm super excited. I'm still. It feels like okay. I've started something new and it's really great. Yeah. Um, it has to because since then everyone I have met, I definitely ask this question as you do. Um, <laughs> I, I'm telling <laughs> you, most women who use menstrual cups will come out and ask everyone. Always. I've been using it. So please do it. Please do it. It's yes. great. It's helping us. Uh, environment, yes, always there. Uh, we always think about it. But first, you have to think about yourself, uh, mm. and then you can make that switch, and then help start helping others and environment. So, <laughs> environment is by default only. Yes. Like it's it's is the most. Um, is the tiniest thing you can do to make a huge difference and uh, i think a lot of people also like i think a few people i know actually switched to cups because it was uh, monetarily more viable because you end up spending like 3 to 400 every month on just sanitary napkins or tampons or yada yada and a cup is like 500 800 rupees and it lasts for like 4 5 years the smarter choice any day right any day. And it's portable. You don't have to worry about mm. uh, having those big, bulky uh, carry-on packets everywhere. So yeah. it's small. So you don't have to keep it in your pocket. You're good to go anywhere. Yeah. Any time, there's no problem at all. Uh, another thing I really wanted to tell is uh, there are different brand brands available. Uh, with new brands coming in market, they have tiny tails. the earlier ones had bigger tails and those are for the reason because again as i said uh, every uh, body is different mm. and they have small rims on it so you can cut them to your size mm. because uh, that's another reason why we uh, place it a little inner uh, inner side because it uh, hurts maybe probably to some of them so if cut it off uh, that is also i eventually figured out <laughs> if you are not uh, comfortable with it hmm. so the older versions uh, had those extra tails new ones are coming on a, in a standard size it's not a problem at all hmm for so there are a lot of uh, questions and a lot of uh, answers to them uh, what are the uh, what are like a few main questions that you get when you're like giving these sessions out and all uh main questions uh, more over they are like Will it get stuck inside? Mm. Uh, whatever goes and never comes out. So that's one question. Uh, and this, uh, and people are like, how will that big of a thing go in? <laughs> Those are the questions that I normally get. So it's not big, it's a small cup. Uh, and uh, that's what I answer. Uh, unless you use it, you will not understand it. Mm. Uh, another thing, it. has vacuum so it will not it is not going to go in unless yeah. it kahan jayega <laughs> jayega bhi to kahan jayega it won't go that in it doesn't mm-hmm. because it has vacuum and that's how it's created mm-hmm. it won't it can't have been invented if it's something that will harm us mm-hmm. so uh, other questions are like what if it doesn't come out uh, how are we going to use it what do mm-hmm. we do how do we dispose it so lot of questions probably some have questions that every time you have to dispose it so that's the first question to be answered that no it's not a disposable thing it's reusable and uh, some um, girls still cannot use it because the parents are not allowing uh, mm. considering <clears throat> they understand that it kills your virginity which doesn't happen it doesn't yeah. impact it doesn't impact anything at all uh, in any way hmm. so that is one question that i've answered a lot of girls uh, coming back to me with this question because their parents have said no hmm. well first thing this is your body this is your period your problem so i don't think uh, they have to decide on what you use for your comfort level because they're not there you're using it you know how to feel comfortable you have to uh, take that decision and second uh, we have to tell them that it doesn't impact uh, your virginity in any way hmm. 
Yeah, because there are like smaller cups available, right? <clears throat> For girls under a certain age. Yes. Interesting. I remember the first time um, I had ordered the cup, and the delivery came home. The delivery happened, and my mummy was like, "You know what did you get?" And I'm like, "A menstrual cup." And she's like, "What is that?" And then I explained to her what it was, and she was like, "Are you really going to do it?" And I was like. Yeah, <laughs> like why not? Then I explained to her the benefits of it, and um, like so many different things. So we had a good conversation about it, and I feel like she's still a little skeptical when it comes to me using these cups. But you know, like <clears throat> you can't throughout be an other's child. You know, you can't always listen to your parents. You have to make that judgment for yourself. right is right wrong is wrong i can't do this because it's right i shouldn't do it because it's not right i think as long as like parents <laughs> what to say yes because uh, yeah they do have questions another point is the considering the cleanliness mhm kind of keep the utensils separate and all it's not required <clears throat> because your own blood mm. keeping it separate is not required Well, it is much more cleaner than you know just disposing it in the dustbin and keeping it for a day there and then you know you usually you do that when you dispose it it's there in your house for a day mm-hmm. before you actually throw it out of the house and then वो तो साफ लगता है ना इन लोगों को I think this is much more cleaner because you don't throw it anywhere you don't keep it anywhere you don't touch everything mm-hmm. you are just it is just inside you clean your hands every time you go in and out so it doesn't impact is just one utensil that you have to use it before uh for cleaning it before and after it hmm. so i don't think uh it also creates any sort of uh, you know no, untouchable things or uh, smell and everything else hmm. so i think it's pretty much cleaner in comparison hmm. uh, still i don't know why uh, that happens that you have to you know keep things separate it's not required things will take time like that's it's all i can say for you know for people to come to an understanding it okay this is something and it's 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 just what it is you know there's nothing like so many taboos related to it so many different thought processes related to it so many perspectives related to it like unnecessary it's okay things will change people are changing you know their thought processes are changing but but uh, when it comes to um, <clears throat> sanitizing the cups so my mother's like that she doesn't let me use the utensils at home to sanitize my cup when i when i told her i'll use a separate one and you know you don't have to look at it you don't have to touch it i will keep everything separately she's just like no 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 so to combat that issue i ordered like a menstrual cup cleanser from amazon they were like 3 to 400 bucks i still haven't used it which is why i'm excited to get my period this time because i want to try it like let's see how is it different not like i'm going to know but um it's just if you don't have an option of boiling it then just use the cleansers this is like for all the other people who don't know what to do i was one of them i didn't know what to do tin boxes the small tin boxes where you just store hot water and keep it closed for a while Mm-hmm. Um, you get small tin boxes. I'll give you the best option. Okay, you get those watches, right? With watches comes tin boxes. Mm-hmm. That's the best way. I figured that out because of traveling. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a watch, and with that came along uh, a box uh, made out of a tin. So I carry that now. I mean, at home there's no much. Not does not. There's no. Do you just pour hot box. water in it and leave the cup for a while, and then you just like. Quiet. Yeah. Oh, that is really nice. That is interesting. That's something I got to learn today. Yay! <laughs> that's, that's a hack. Uh, you know, uh, you we call it uh, jugar. <laughs> jugar, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at home, there's not much of a problem. I have a dedicated utensil. Uh, my mom has been quite supportive about it. She doesn't have much of questions or it mm-hmm. doesn't do that much. I wish all our parents will. can be that supportive uh, everyone's rather uh, at least you know uh, honor what uh, we uh, choose and what we like so they do not uh, have questions and uh, my mother is absolutely fine with whatever i'm doing oh that's so cute that's, <laughs> that's lovely <laughs> 
the only hack that i use is because if i'm traveling i cannot boil it uh, mm-hmm. maybe in you know, uh, trains or something like that but i can definitely get hot water anywhere in the train as well yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, so tea vendors are very uh, friendly you know at times they can let you some hot water and you can use the tin box mm-hmm. i have my portable uh, boil water heater but that is again you need the connection properly Mm. So it's not possible i use that uh, as a supplement. how long do you generally leave the cup in the tin box uh it's like for 20 minutes to 20 minutes okay it's more than enough that's a crazy hack i learned today <laughs> why why did i ever yeah. e- even order the cleanser if this was what i was going to learn today <laughs> so uh, it's just that to disinfect because uh, if i'm leaving from home you usually clean it beforehand and pack it right mm-hmm. it's just that during that time you have need you need an immediate disinfectant you've already cleansed it before leaving yeah so i just needed to keep it in hot water for some time just to make sure that uh, it remains clean and it is disinfected i've mm-hmm. already cleaned it beforehand so i just needed extra being extra careful mm-hmm. it helps what is the weirdest question you have um, like come across when it comes to menstrual cups like the weirdest where you're just like what are you even asking types um it's uh, what if it overflows so a uh, lot of people <laughs> that's the weirdest thing because we all think that you no know, in comparison to others i have a uh, flow which cannot be uh, taken care of um mm-hmm. uh, uh, i said no probably you do not know yourself yet yeah it's just it's just you do not have an extra flow it's just because you see it there if you don't see it you will not realize it unless you are collecting it in the cup you will not realize it that it you do not have an extra flow hmm. it's just normal it's all normal uh, considering your body you may have a little extra flow than me mm-hmm. if i'm on the thinner side hmm. i'll have a normal uh, periods Mm. but uh, if i'm a little healthy uh, on a plumpier side i my flow will be a little heavier mm. so but then it doesn't change anything it just mm. feels like that because we're using menstrual cups mm. which not use men menstru- uh, sorry we're using uh, sanitary napkins i'm sorry mm. but if you use cups you'll realize that it's not the flow it just feels that way uh that's another thing that i realized when it started collecting i had the measuring option available on my cup so i realized mm. that i thought i had so much of flow but it's not yeah it's not it's just a little amount of blood uh, that is being collected it's yeah. just the, uh uncomfort of a sanitary napkin that was uh, creating uh a uh, what do you say an uh, imagination that i had that i am um i have an extra flow but that's not the case it's like because <clears throat> the like it's sanitary pads you know because of the blood flow and the cotton there like it just becomes mm-hmm. heavier so you think all that heaviness is your blood but it's not i also realized like soon after i started using menstrual cups and i have heavier flow than most people that i know or not i don't know it's not like i go around checking their blood but i know i do <laughs> so um yeah. i was very fascinated with how much i was bleeding because i thought i would bleed like a lot and i had to change my cup every 4 5 hours and you know like in the beginning when i started using the cup i would like check every 4 5 hours you know i was like cleaning and i was like okay but i don't really need to clean now like right that's that's fine going up after a month maybe it would take maximum 3 months for you to realize that you do not need to clean it as much you're doing mm-hmm. it right now mm-hmm. for like sanitary napkins you might have to change every 3 hours sometimes mm. but with menstrual cups you do not have to do that it will go for at least 8 hours no matter yeah. how uh, uh, how much flow you have what's the longest duration you worn the cup for 12 hours 16 hours <laughs> yeah beyond that because uh, yeah actually uh, uh, worn it for a longer time i remember 12 hours be- I think we're having a little bit of a connection issue. We're going to wait. Okay. 
We're going to wait for her to join. Okay, hello all online. Hi people, hello everyone. Nice glasses, thank you so much. Momo's not here, Shri Jita. Hello, new people joining. You know, if you guys have like any questions related to menstrual cups or just periods or anything related to like to sustainability, <clears throat> even skincare, because I specialize in it, um, just send us a DM. We will be more than happy to help you. Um, we all have our different areas of specialities. And I think there's still some network issue going on with Amrita. Hello, new people. Okay, so um, it's sad how the talk got suddenly over, but network issues, we cannot control that. So anyway, I hope you guys like the talk. Um, I hope you learned something from it. And like I mentioned earlier, if you guys have any issues, any kind of questions related to um, any kind of sustainability that you want to like, you know, take a step toward in life, whether it comes to... Um, menstruation whether it comes to skincare whether you want like a toothpaste and anything anything at all just like feel free to um dm us we'll be more than happy to get back to you with the best effort we can <laughs> 